Jou tanden aan licht, jou. <laughs> I'm back, back online for a few minutes. I'm out here working on my boat. Trying to put this uh, trolling motor, motor back on it. Because I'm going fishing. Tomorrow, one way or the other, I'm going fishing. Uh, I think I'm going to try to go down there and go under them bridges. Or something like that. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I know I got to get out of this house. I know that for sure. <laughs> so, and that thing I want to tell y'all, I'm going to be uh, cooking a little while. I got to uh, fire my grill up, my uh, griddle actually, and I'm going to cook me and Miss Janet some shrimp and pork. We caught that. Got some pork left over from a couple weeks ago, we caught. And I got some shrimp. Put them in there, and we're going to have something good to eat, y'all. Whew! Oh, golly. Trying to take these boats up. I've been trying to do this all day, y'all. All day. It just ain't stopped raining all day. And I don't think we're getting terrible lots of rain. Mm. But I know we wouldn't get and piles of rain, but we got enough we couldn't do nothing, that's for sure. That's the thing I'll get here, boy. You talking about contraption that will hurt you. Somebody shopping. Moon Willow, what's up? Poor Tyler. Oh, Tyler. I was down there, went and checked on the grave just a few minutes ago. I go do that after every storm. Old Tyler didn't like, never liked the, uh, the, uh, me weather he always <laughs> my boys up front all my old workers they used to call Tyler the rain dog Tyler would come up running up front and uh hide he, his eyes would be just so big big as could be and uh he would hide in the shed up front and a lot of times the boys would shut the door and we'd get home at night me and Miss Janet would be looking where Tyler go, and uh, he would be up front. He'd be up front when we see it. I'd have to go find him and get him. Mm -mm. Y'all, I'm gonna hook this motor up. I got my batteries charging. And what I'm planning to do tomorrow, I'm gonna go into that bridge. I know I can catch a couple little perch. I'm gonna bring my my uh, lines, and I'm gonna. Set my jig lines out. We're gonna catch some catfish. Then we're gonna eat them. <laughs> That's my plan. I know I gotta get away from this house. That blue line is messing with me again, y'all. I wish somebody tell me how to get rid of that blue line. My daughter's supposed to, but she left the other day. She went to Florida. I think they're coming back tomorrow. Though. Bobby Nixon, what's up? Bobby, I'm sorry. He said, I, I can read a little bit of your thing, but that blue dang thing keeps popping up. Somebody said something about I need to take a break. <laughs> I don't like to take breaks. Sometimes I take a break, but not too often. I like to be doing something. I got to stay busy. And the problem is, my kitchen, y'all know the big tree fell out there the other day. And I got it cut up and a lot of the branches hauled off, but I, uh, I can't, uh, I got all, all the stuff cut up for firewood. I got to split it yet, but the problem is I'm having is it's just nothing but mush back there. And I got about an inch of water actually right now, so you can't even walk back there. It's going to dry out in about a month or two. Uh, that's all right. Less who? 
Who was that? Let me see that. Who's that Les? Les, Les Burns. What's up, Les? Yeah. Y'all, I don't want stuck. Got something in my eye again, like a big dummy. I've been good at that lately. Take all that sawdust up there. Yeah. Got something in my eye. So I got one contact not in. Ugh. Brad Robinson, what's up? Jack Oodle. Oh, Fred Hunter. How y'all doing? Y'all? Uh-oh. I'm gonna drop my wrench. <laughs> drop my wrench. Let me get toward the front here. Move y'all around a little bit. Well, this is gonna be a doozy here. But anyway, I'm ready to go. Me and Kenny Bankson and, and Paul went to go try to set them hog crops yesterday. I don't know if y'all seen that. That didn't work out too good. It's kind of a low spot over there by the river. And me and Kenny and Paul were kind of scared to set the trap because of the, uh, uh, uh because of the, uh, the river with all this rain we have. You know, we're scared the river going to come out and wash the crops away. Or we get some hogs in them that drown them. And that's, you know, we don't want that to happen. If we catch a hog, we want to eat it. We don't want to waste it, that's for sure. <sighs> yes, indeed. Okay, y'all, I'm going to operate on this booger. I want that little blue thing gone. Yep. I can't read y'all's, uh, ooh, somebody, Sheila Peek said, just seen a link where a guy called a 70-pound grouper in a kayak. Wow. Somebody said called a 70 pound grouper in a kayak. I bet that was a ride in half. Ah, got one more key. Or Ritter. I think that was the name there. Keith Ritter, yeah. Hello from Georgia. Stay dry. It's hard to do down here, that's for sure. It's definitely hard to do. Take a hammer. What? Yeah. Danny Canyon. What's up? I seen somebody say something about take a hammer to it. Now I about got it now, Larry. Larry Stafford said take a hammer to it. Whoa! Y'all seen that? I, did, I was out here by myself one time, and that thing slid down like this, and trapped my finger in there, and it like cut my finger off. Yes, indeed, like to cut my finger off. I don't think I did it. I think I did it. <clears throat> Now, where's the, oh, okay, that's the how it works. Y'all think that'll work? I think it will. Uh, I hope it will anyway. Did that before. Uh, who did that? Larry. Somebody said they did that before. He's bugger to get you, yeah. I got my batteries charging up over there. Look, I'm going to let y'all go right now. But I'm going to be back in about, a, I guess, about an hour and a half. Uh, what time is it? 4.30? So we're going to say 5.30. We're going to go out there, me and Miss Jenna's going to cook some stuff. Uh, looks like it's starting to sprinkle again. What's up, Ty Dunn? Let's burn. What? Do you need a what? Get your hunting too. What? Do I need them? No, I don't need it. I need this trolling motor to go fishing, though. I can sneak around around there. Here, Jude, what's up? Whoo! Bill Vernon. Cap McLean, hello. Lisa says, stay dry. Bobby Nixon, what's up? Good to hear from you. Y'all know I ain't been on there too much yesterday or today. Uh, I went to town to get some boats for this thing earlier. <laughs> and I was going down the, down the road. And uh, what you think comes out in the road, my driveway. Big old about an eight and a half, nine foot gator. I run her off, <laughs> run her off the road, and you know how that goes. There's always something around here. Always something. Jenny Denver, Denver, wait. I think that's Jenny, Jenny Dewey, Dewey. How you doing? She said, pray it works. Yeah, it's going to work. Oh, but I'm going to get out here and I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to go inside. 
I gotta carry this phone around now. Ooh, I gotta charge that battery up, but we ain't gonna be talking too much, huh? <laughs> Teresa Bryant, what's up? Yeah, we're gonna be cooking some good stuff in a little bit. So, uh, tell your mama and your daddy and all your friends and everybody. And Billy Milton, tell him. Oh, he's right here. He sees us. Chilla Peck, tell everybody to watch. Coming up in about an hour and a half. I'd say about 5.30. We're going to try to tip out there and start cooking some stuff. So y'all come back with us and we'll talk with y'all. Because Miss Jen's going to be out there with me. She'll be able to read me some of the questions. Can y'all see my eye? This one, I got something bad in it. It's been red all day since I woke up this morning. Yep. If there's a kitty behind me. I don't know. Yep, there's a kitty over there behind me. Them cats, I don't know. They follow me everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. If I'm out in this yard, they follow me. Oh, uh, come on. They attack cats. They will kill everything out here. Anything that moves, they get it. Let me look at my truck and get something. It's just nasty weather. I'll tell you that. I about had enough of it. I lose more stuff around here. Did I put my drill up? Yeah, I put my drill up. Don't want it to get wet. Okay, y'all, I'm really getting out of here right now. And y'all, make sure y'all tune in, tune in about, about an hour and a half. Well, no, that'd be about an hour, huh? Okay. And hopefully this rain will quit. This driving me nuts. Are you in Louisiana? Who said that? George Phillips, how you doing? Cat McLean said, are you in Louisiana? Well, yes, I'm in Louisiana. I'm at my house. Well, y'all think I'm at the country club? Yes, I'm home. Miss Jen, she went shopping. and went, I know where she went today. She got her one of them coffee, chocolate coffees at that coffee house thing. Starbucks. I went up in there one time, ordered a cup of coffee. Just a plain cup of coffee. Five dollars. I said, no, y'all can put that back in the pot. Ain't no way I'm paying that for a cup of coffee. All right, y'all, let me get out of here. We'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.